everybody, what's going on? My name is Dylan. Welcome to Man of Many Hats. Today, I'll be showing you step by step how to make a real set of saw horses. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So let's go over the supplies for this real quick. You'll need three and a half two by fours for one saw horse. You'll need some sort of saw, tape measure. A speed square is gonna be a really important tool during this. Pencil screw gun and then I like to use Deckmate T25 screws. So since you're here there's a pretty good chance that you're currently working off the ground and I'm gonna humor you and do that same thing. I like to make my saw horses 42 inches wide. I like to load mine up pretty good and this is why I favor this method of building so much. So we're gonna mark 42 on both ends of that. Take our square real quick. Alright, so now we got those and we're going to measure out one more piece, but we're going to make that three inches smaller on each side. So we're going to do 42 minus 6. We're going to make this piece 36 inches. And I'll explain why we do that here in a little while. So now you got those pieces cut. Come in. And just measure three inches. Line up that three inch mark. Make sure you're the same on both sides. It should be right about an inch. Right in the center of this board. Set that, and you're gonna come over to this side. Make sure you got that inch on both sides there. And then you can either add two or one is fine in the middle. So the reason why I like to make the middle one shorter is because you can set your tape measure and your pencil and things in this little cubby here. See, some people say you can't do much with three inches, but if you ask my wife, starting off on the legs, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take our saw and make it a 15 degree bevel. So how we're going to do that is you're going to loosen this up right here, turn that till it's at 15 and then tighten that back up. So, we're gonna come to our two by four and mark 10 degrees. And I'll do a more detailed description of the 10 degrees and the 15 degree bevel at the end of the video. But we're gonna use our safety glasses, not the safety squints that I'm used to using. We're gonna apply some PPE here. All right, so you got your first cut and you're gonna measure from your long point. Thirty seven inches. And that will put it about thirty six inches off the ground to the top. So we're going from our long to our short point. So we're gonna put this square right on that mark we just made. Move it to 10, mark that, and then cut it. Voila, and now you have one of your legs. So we're gonna do this three more times. All right, so now all our legs are cut. We got the top assembly done. We're going to measure eight inches on the very top rail on both sides and that's going to be where our leg starts. So slide that in there like that. What I like to do is make a few marks 
because you're gonna want these screws to go directly into the contact points or else they're gonna be in your way. So then you get your screw gun with your T25 bit, your deck mates. Right now we're only gonna put two in because we still gotta make some adjustments. If you turn it enough times, eventually it'll work. All right, so now we got this thing mostly assembled. We can stand it up. You see it might have a little bit of wobble. So just put a little bit of pressure downward. Softly tap the legs out. and then it's gonna be where it needs to be. So to keep it there, we're gonna come down off this, measure five inches, five inches, and we're gonna take one of our scrap pieces of wood, put it across there, and just mark the backside. We don't need to do any fancy measuring here or anything, just mark the backside. And before you cut that, make sure you zero your salt back out. So now you have a set of sawhorses that is sturdier than not even a bow. Sheesh. All right, go ahead and make your other one, and then you got a nice gnarly set of sawhorses. All right, guys, so that's about it. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope this video helped. And if you'd like to see more projects, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, I'm hoping to post once a week. So, see you. So when you start your angle and your square is up against it flat, you're going to look at these degrees. And this is your pivot point, so you want to stay there. Push on that. Pull this out until it lines up with the 10 degree mark along the edge of the board. And that's going to be your mark for that. Now, for the bevel, your pivot point would be right here, and the bevel cut is 15 degrees. That lines up with the edge of the board. So that is what your piece ends up being cut like. As you'll see here, here's one that's already cut. And when I'm talking about the short point and the long point, see how this is the short and this would be the long? And then again, when you flip it over to this side, you see this is the short and this is the long. So this is gonna be the longest point 
of your leg.